What's happening, landlord Hill? We are looking at the return of Ezekiel Elliott, and look at him. Whoop! He's jumping over people. People, he is back. He is back, and it's official. Okay, okay. I might be getting a little too carried away, but he is looking decent, man. I see a little more burst than expected from Zeke Elliott. I see a little more wiggle than expected from Ezekiel Elliott. We already know he has all the natural running back instincts. He is doing great work in pass protection. And look at him, man. Nobody finishes runs like Ezekiel Elliott in the league, bar none. We already know he is one of those ones. He always going to put that shoulder on your boom, and he's always going to fall forward. It don't matter how many defenders in his way, Zeke usually falls forward in and finishes his runs better than a lot of people, man. And that's something that we don't give him a lot of credit for. But check him out on this run right here. Zeke is, boom, going forward, man. He is always falling forward, and that's what you need to see from your running back, man. That's what we was missing last year. And I must admit, man, Ezekiel Elliott gives you a little bit of intimidation, man. A lot of people don't want to run up and hit Zeke. Like, J.O.K., I seen him knocking people out on film, and it didn't look like he was ready to sign up to run up on Zeke that much. Number six for the Browns. Now, I know he's a good player. I know he do his thing. But Zeke made him think about it, man. And you got to think. You can run up and hit Zeke full scrimp, one hit, one play, two plays. But just imagine when it's 38 plays, when it's 30 plays, when it's fourth quarter, you start getting those body blows on the defense, and those tackles start getting a little more weak as the game go on. So that's an element of toughness, physicality, and stuff like that that we did not have last year in 2023, and I'm excited to see it in 2024 as you can see on this zone inside zone run right here from zeke we probably needed a little better block from Terrence Steele to seal out that hole right there man but hey zeke is getting the best he can get out of the play no lost yards just try to get some positive yardage and look this right here still shows zeke making people miss catching the ball out the flat right there making the defender miss catching nothing but dirt instead of Zeke, man. That's a good play. He's still showing some nimbleness, you know, as an older back. He's only 29, not 30 yet, and he's still showing some signs of youth, you know, making people miss, jumping over people. I like it. Just some good, nice play design from Mike McCarthy to get some easy yardage, man. Easy yardage is hard to come by these days, especially for some struggling offenses, but I like how he got Tyler and Zach pulling, opening up some run lanes from Ezekiel Elliott for some yak after the catch. That was a great play design for some nice, easy yardage, in my opinion. Shout out to Mike McCarthy. And this is what we know him well for. This is what his calling card is. This is the reason, in my opinion, that he is back in Dallas. This is the reason why, just because he got that nose for the end zone, had eight touchdowns. I can't remember how many touchdowns he had last time he was here, but he had a bunch of them, a boatload of them. And that's what he do. We all know he has a nose for the football, and we was definitely missing this last year. The physicality, the natural running instincts of Zekia Elliott, I feel like we was missing that last year for sure, and now it's back in Big D. You know, pause if necessary. I know how y'all young kids are these days. But listen, I'm not acting like Zeke is going to the Hall of Fame or he's back to 2016, but I will say he seems to be effective and doing exactly what we need. We just need the change to keep on moving. But that's all I got for you today. Holla at your boy, Landlord from Alabama. Tap in for the win. Let's go.